Advanced Residential Applications and Case Studies, Chapter 12, Case Study on Challenging Market Conditions, Page 3. Challenging Property Characteristics and Market Conditions Scenario. You have been contacted by a local corporation wishing to engage you to perform a market value appraisal of a proposed residential dwelling in Southern Knights. A deed restricted gated community in a suburban neighborhood just outside of the city limits of Baxter in a southern state. Southern Knights is the luxury home development in Sanders County. And while there are several neighborhoods where one might buy or Build a good quality home in the Baxter area. Almost all of the truly exceptional homes are found in the Southern Knights community. The lots range from 0 0.75 all the way to 1.25 acres in size. And of the 40 lots in the community, approximately 34 have been developed. The Southern Knights development is approximately 2.5 years old. An individual owner, not the corporation contacting you, plans to purchase two adjacent one acre lots in Southern Knights where deed restrictions require homes to have at least 5,000 feet gross living area with strictly enforced restrictions regarding construction <sighs> exterior design and the use of the property among other important issues the deed restrictions also specify that although there is no maximum gross living area. The total gross living area may not exceed 25% of the site area, regardless of the number of stories. The residential dwelling to be constructed and appraised is to be an exceptional quality home. The home will be very large, with, with gross living area of approximately 7,500 square feet wood frame construction with stone veneer exterior walls. Further details about the dwelling will be provided later. In addition to the fine home, which will be built on one lot, the prospective owner has decided to also construct a 10,000 square foot recreation and entertainment complex. It will be detached from but next door to the dwelling and wholly situated on the adjacent lot. The complex will be a fully enclosed steel span construction building with the same stone veneer as the dwelling. <sighs> The stone veneer will disguise the fact that this building is actually a steel span building. Containing in this complex will be a clay surface tennis court with grandstand seating. A 2,000 square foot surface area swimming pool and a 1,500 square foot exercise slash fitness area and a 40 seat luxury movie theater with digital projection and THX sound system. End of page. Page four, the client. Your potential client is the Bates Corporation, a closely held corporation that happens to also be the single largest employer in Sanders County, uh, of which the city of Baxter is the county seat. <sighs> Baxter is also your hometown and base of business for your appraisal firm. Greater Baxter metropolitan area population is approximately 70,000. The county population is approximately 95,000. The Bates Corporation has asked you to consider performing an assignment to provide two market value opinions. 
one value opinion will be the current market value with the effective date being your date of inspection of the two vacant one acre lots in Southern Knights but valued as if the dwelling and recreation complex were actually built as of the current inspection date. The second value opinion will be a prospective value opinion with the effective date being the anticipated date of completion. <sighs> of construction of the entire improved property, including the dwelling and the recreation entertainment complex. The general contractor hired to build both the house and the recreation slash entertainment complex has contracted to complete all construction, including all landscaping and fencing within nine months from commencement of construction. Bates Corporation employees employs approximately 1,600 skilled manufacturing workers. It is owned by a fairly small group of investors, several of whom actually live in Southern Knights up until five years ago. Bates was wholly owned by one of the big three American auto manufacturing companies. Five years ago, it was sold off to a small group of investors who currently own all of the outstanding shares of stock of the corporation. The Detroit Auto Manufacturing Company that previously owned the Bates Corporation employed most of the small group of shareholders. Bates manufactures a variety of automotive components for the Detroit automaker that had formerly owned it. Because of the close connection between the former parent company and the current Bates shareholders, Bates has been fortunate to have exclusive contracts <sighs> to produce these component parts for the Detroit auto builder during the five years since the divestiture. De Over the past several months, the automaker has been pressuring Bates to lower its bid to produce the component parts because the Detroit firm has determined that the parts can be acquired from other competing firms in Mexico at a fraction of the current cost. The friendly Connections that Bates board members have with the Detroit firm have weakened over the years and To late Bates has realized that almost all of its eggs are in one unraveling basket Bates has repeatedly asked its union represented employees to agree to renegotiate their compensation package in order to reduce costs but the union workers have consistently refused to give up anything in terms of wages and benefits <sighs> Regional news outlets have extensively covered the ongoing negotiations and the resulting stalemate. Speculation is high that if the workforce and their union do not relent, then eventually Bates may lose its Detroit contracts, essentially putting the company out of business. While this continues to be a concern to civic leaders and many area residents, most people will tell you that these things have a way of working out and that somehow Bates, the workers, that somehow Bates and the workers will find a solution to the stalemate. End of page. Page five, meeting the client. Your contact at Bates has asked you to attend a meeting in order to discuss your appraisal assignment in detail with the company's board of directors prior to acceptance of the assignment and commencement of the appraisal process. You find this somewhat unusual and you are very curious to see what they need to discuss with you. Uh, at the meeting, you are first required to sign a confidentiality agreement. The director stressed the importance of maintaining strict confidentiality 
and not disclosing any of the information that they will reveal in this meeting. You sign the agreement and the meeting commences. The directors proceed to disclose the following. Bates Corporation has been notified by its Detroit client. For instance, its only client that it will no longer be receiving bid opportunities from the Detroit firm. At least not for at least the next two and a half to three years. <sighs> Because the Detroit automaker has reached a three-year agreement with a Mexican firm to manufacture the needed components at a greatly reduced cost, Detroit has assured Bates at some point prior to the end of this agreement with the Mexican producer, Bates will be allowed to again bid for the manufacturing contract. Unfortunately, the Bates Board of Directors knows that the company will no longer exist in three years. In fact, they tell you Bates will cease to exist in just a few months. Although the union and workers and the community do not know this yet, the board informs you that final plans are being made to dissolve the Bates Corporation. The assets are to be purchased by a new company, Assembly Solutions, which is being formed by six individuals, about half of the current shareholders. All of the current employees and officers will be released within 60 days, they estimate, and severance packages are being drafted up for these employees. These packages will offer a range of choices, including lump sum payments equal to one year salary without overtime or payments over a 12 month period, totaling the equivalent of 15 months of salary. One of the directors interrupts, identifies himself as one of the assembly solution investors. For instance, your client and once again reminds you of your confidentiality obligations since the union has not received official notification yet your head is spinning even though the local rumor mill has been speculating that this thing could happen the reality of the situation has stunned you while you listen to the information two thoughts run through your mind number one what is this going to mean for our community? Number two. Why are they telling all this to me? So you ask them to answer both of those questions to you. Page six, questions and answers. As to the first question, the board informs you that Assembly Solutions intends to commend to commission a study in the next 30 days to estimate economic impact on both the city of Baxter and Sanders County. The study might be very helpful to you. One of the directors acknowledges, but it will not be completed in time for you to use it because your appraisal report is required within 21 days. As to the second question, you are being fully a praised of the situation because your client also needs to know the market value as of the estimated construction completion date approximately nine months away your client realizes that once news of this closing is public knowledge and once the 1600 employees are no longer employed the entire economy including real estate values will be impacted your client has correctly surmised that the value upon completion may be less than the value as if the property was completed at present. 
They have correctly surmised that in order for you to develop a credible value opinion nine months into the future, you must know what is soon to happen with the Bates Corporation since the implications for the local slash regional economy are tremendous. At this point, one of the directors informs you that despite what you were initially told, Bates will not be your client. Your client will actually be Assembly Solutions. For obvious reasons, they waited until now to make you aware of this detail. The investors in Assembly Solutions are also members of the Bates Board of Directors and all are present in the conference room, although they do not comprise all of the Bates Directors. Assembly Solutions has arranged to hire Franklin McManus as the CEO of the new company. You are familiar with Franklin McManus because he is internationally known as a hired gun who typically accepts contracts for 18 to 24 months to reinvent faltering companies. Sometimes he is actually hired to oversee the liquidation of firms. He is known as a brilliant businessman and a tough negotiator. He ha is acknowledged as one of the most effective business managers and CEOs in North America, perhaps even the world. And if he has ever failed in one of the numerous endeavors, you've never heard of it. Even though Bates is a large company by Sanders County standards, you understand that in Franklin McManus's world, Bates and whatever Assembly Solutions intends to be is a small time operation. The fact that Assembly Solution intends to bring McManus in as CEO is very impressive. And it makes you wonder what these investors have in mind long term for Assembly Solutions in Centers County. You will be appraising Franklin McManus's proposed new home in Southern Nights. All information you were initially provided regarding the dwelling and the recreation slash entertainment complex was accurate. A complete set of plans and specifications along with plats of survey for the two lots being purchased are given to you along with a copy of the contractor's bid. You are advised that Mr. McManus's name will not be found on any of the documents since all transactions and negotiations are being handled by his agents in order to keep his participation quiet. Assembly Solutions is agreeing to finance the purchase of the two lots in Southern Nights as well as the construction of McManus's residence and recreation complex. This is one of the major elements of his employment package. Additionally, Assembly Solutions has agreed to purchase Mr. McManus's home from him if his contract is not renewed in three years. The agreed upon purchase price will be the greatest of number one, the actual cost to construct. Number two, the market value as of your initial inspection date of the vacant lots prior to construction, but valued as if construction is complete or three the market value in three years based on the average mean of two independently performed appraisals to be completed three years from now if necessary at this point one of the directors who is also a shareholder in assembly solutions makes a motivation a motion that your assignment be modified to include a third value opinion this one based on an effective date of three years from the McManus contract and employment as CEO. The other shareholders agreed to this motion. <sighs> you agree to develop this additional prospective value opinion, but only if that value opinion can be developed subsequent to the current and nine month prospective value opinions and only if you will be provided a copy of the economic impact study which assembly solutions ha 
is having developed so that you can utilize it in your three-year projection. The shareholders agree to this and agree to allow you to the necessary extra time for the third three-year value opinion. Your current and nine-month value opinions are still due within 21 days. You are to provide a free quote for the three-year value opinion within two days. End of page.